My name's Howard Walwyn and uh, I'm a specialist in English antique clocks of the 17th and 18th centuries and I have a gallery in Kensington Church Street where I've been working for the last uh, 30 plus years. This year I'll be bringing a, a wonderful early uh, number Tompion, number 16. Uh, it's a quarter striking clock, uh, very unusual. And a couple of pieces by Daniel Quare, Tompion's great rival, clockmaker to the king. He was actually a Quaker. As a Quaker he couldn't uh, uh, swear allegiance to the king so he was admitted to the palace by the back stairs. I'm showing this year a wonderful uh, walnut long case clock by him. Uh, it's the most fabulously figured walnut case. Um, it's it, beautiful proportions. It has an 11 inch dial which means it's very slim from top to bottom. Normally these palace type clocks are very grand. They tend to be bigger. This one is slightly smaller and narrower. It's made in about 1710 and it's remarkable. A clock of that age can be accurate to within a few seconds a week. The other clock I would like to highlight is quite different. It's a table clock by Daniel Quare, made a few years later, in about 1715, when he briefly took into partnership his, his apprentice, Stephen Horseman, who when he died took over the business. An ebony veneered case, and ebony was a very precious wood, so it's only used in veneer form. And the movement itself, it's an eight day duration, and it has a number of uh, extra features. It strikes the hours, it also has a pull repeat for repeating the quarter hours, which is uh, really at that time we're talking about 1715, 1717. You could tell the time at night you were either blind or you were in the dark. You could pull the repeat cord and it would tell you the time to within the nearest quarter hour. It was a sort of piece of cutting edge technology at that time. It's always a pleasure and a privilege to be at Masterpiece, and we're very sorry it's had to take place in virtual form this year. But our gallery is in fact now back open and we would love to welcome you along to come and see some of our other exquisite timepieces that we haven't had time to talk about today.